And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Pokemon First, the day of the week. We'll talk about anything. That's right, Digimon. I was just making sure all of you said Digimon. And it is time for our Evolving Skies collection so far. Minus. Oh, hello. Yes, it is Evolving Skies. And last week, uh, again, I haven't. Uh, I'm saying again, like I haven't said this bit yet. We haven't. Um, we, I haven't. The, the video, and it's not recording, the Pokemon Evolving Sky set review hasn't gone up yet. So I don't know what the feedback's like on it. So I, I did, I asked a question, should I just keep a review when I do the set collection so far video? It was just an experiment because I can do a review on loads of different sets and whatnot. And I wanted to get some feedback. So if you haven't done any feedback on that video, let me know if I should just review the set in this video per se. And I also want to point out, at the time of recording, we've, we will have already done it. There has been a, a setback on the Elite Trainer boxes and the single blister packs. Uh, they're, they're like a week or two behind. I don't know why they would be. It makes no sense. If you can get the booster box out there, why can't you get the ETB out there? But I'm sure there's a reason that I can't fathom or I don't understand because I'm not making TCG cards. So this just contains... Blister packs uh, and the booster box and the check lane blisters. Uh, so still plenty of packets. If you've seen the unboxing, you would have seen the majority. But we do also have another bundle, which I won't show you the front of because we've got a really cool pull. We got this random packs uh, from Smiths because B usually doesn't. We got the tail. There'll be a booster box open, and I'll, I'll get to a pretty cool, interesting thing to point out in a sec when we get to that. But there are some extra cards we can add to the set there, which we didn't see in the unboxing. We never did them for unboxing either, because it was only four packets. Um, I have had two Elite Trainer boxes come from a different site, uh, but they were been brought in, and they've been, at the, again, at the time of recording, because it was like, this video is going to like two weeks. Recording it, but it's not going to have like two weeks. Um, but they're, they're actually stuck at the post office, so I haven't opened them yet. And I've got two more coming from a, a site called Nano Cards, which I, I suggest you check out because I spoke to the owner. Absolute lovely person. Um, but yes, yeah, so there are four Elite Trainer boxes on the way, which will get added into this. Oh my god, I've rambled on loads. It is Evolving Skies. Let me know how you've been getting on. And again, we're still waiting on the binder. We probably will do a, a roundup when the binder gets here. Uh, but yeah, we're still waiting on the binder as well. But visuals, it is Evolving Skies. The collection so far. Let's just jump into it. And again, it's all just going to be... There's no binder. But we're doing it anyway. Point out visuals. One other thing I should point out visuals is um, the set isn't officially in order yet. Because B usually likes to do it. But what she does is, I'll show you now, right, so if I take out the, this, this here, this is everything that's just common, uncommon, doubles of, that obviously do need to be put in the set because if we haven't got the reverse of it, it needs to be as a marker until we get the reverse of it. But it's just full of like, there you go, there's your, your Teddy Ursa, there's your Lotad, and then this is the chunk of change, this is everything that's, um... A reverse hollow or better. So that's full of all of our horrors and the uh, horror horrors. Full of all of our hollows and stuff. The the ones that, like I said, are actually you know the ones that are worth pointing out. Like we got this in a reverse. We got this in a hollow. Uh, but I will get to the the next bundle in a sec, and I'll show you them. The, but these these ones have been ordered. So what B will do is she'll then go through these and put all the the ones that we need just to put as tokens until we get the reverse hollow off. But we're ready to run down. Uh, so everything will be a reverse hollow or better. Uh, the Hopip, the Skip Bloom, Jumpluff, Hollow, and again, we need that as a reverse. I've started this video off great. The Leafeon and the Leafeon VMAX. If you guys remember, the um, this particular booster box was very Leafeon related. We'll, we'll show you more in a sec. Trobeuse Reverse, Lilligant, Dwebble, Trevenant, just in the V half art, Gossifleur, Eldegoss, Victini, Litleo, uh, Gyarados VMAX, which I adore. Gyarados is such a... An amazing Pokemon who will always look great in any position or art style or form. He just looks fantastic. Uh, Lotad, uh, Melotic, Love Disc, Pikachu, Raichu, Hollow, Mareep, Fluffy. And how beautiful is it the fact that these are all sort of telling the same sort of story set around the same area. Um, Dracozolt. Awful, awful Pokemon, but a good looking card, I will admit right there. That just looks like a bit of fucking weird cartoon ham with a head sticking out. I hate these fossils, they're disgusting. Uh, Regilecki, who I believe that's his first English uh, um, card. The weird ass drowsy, who's just ready to, to melt your mind. Uh, Marshadow, Hitmonchan, Medicham, 
Hippopotus, Palpatone, Umbreon V. So we have got a nice little stack of uh, evolutions. Scraggy, Zorua, Thievil, Shelgon, Salamance, Kyrim Hollow, Kyrim Reverse. So that's what you would like to do. We like to get both. So we can try and get as close to a master set as possible. Noivern, uh, Zygarde, Hollow, Appleton, Viagraph, Swablu, Lillipop, Herdia, Braviary, Digging Gloves, uh, Full Face Guard, Moon and Sun Budge. Moon and Sun Budge, yes. Uh, scroll Shit, more Gloves, Shopping Centre, uh, a Leaf Badge. Uh, Spirit Mask, Z uh, Z Z Zanina's Resolve, the, um, she, I think, is the, on the requires, requires her, uh, uh, alternative art, is she not? Uh, Treasure Energy, then the Leafeon Full Art, we didn't get any alternative art this, this time around, but we did get the Inteleon Secret Rare Gold, who is, I think, is about a 50 quid card, obviously, depending on condition and whatnot, this, this seems to be bang on condition, probably not a perfect 10, the board, it doesn't seem exactly spot on. But what a gorgeous card to pull. Uh, and I'll show you the bundle. The, 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 the bundle that we got yesterday. That The four cards. And this is the weird story. It's going to bring up visuals, okay? We've gone into Smiths. And we've done it about... We've gone into Smiths millions of times. But we've gone to the till. And we've picked... At three times, okay? Three times we've got to the till. And picked cards out of the random booster box. It's just sat like that. And twice... Twice we've come up with rainbow rares. So we've gone to the booster box and randomly pulled out the guaranteed secret rare from the booster box twice out of three times. What luck is that? It was B both times. Last time she got a an Urshifu um, V Max rainbow rare. But we got the Garbador, uh, Zapdos, uh, and there was another hollow. Oh, she's left it in the car. Little bastard. There's a Zoroark hollow to go along with this. Um, I can't believe she left it in the car. And a couple of, obviously, we got four reverse hollows. Cavana, the Tentacle, the Zorua, the Golduck. But oh my god, how, how lucky is that? I mean, Gabador, I think she she looked in the average price is about 16 quid at the minute for that card. Um, and you, yeah, like I said, you might be thinking, oh, well, there's still loads of cards missing from here. Has she ticked it off so far on here? No, not not quite yet. Yeah, she hasn't. She hasn't ticked them off on that because we we usually tick it off in the in the ETB book, but they had. Well, we haven't got our hands on one yet. We've got two sat waiting at the post office. And one coming in the post at some point. Apparently, the lad on Nano Cards, or, or we actually don't know, who messaged me. If you, if they get, in, if they're getting it from English suppliers, then it's running late. But if they're getting it from American suppliers, and you're getting it in early or some shit like that, I've just killed one of these Lego pieces. But yeah, these are all you, the, the cards here, which you probably didn't see, like Chin Chowder that we've seen. But they, they will get put onto the set. But they're not really; they're just regular cannon fodder. Shrifty, he's he's a rare. I got this quite. That's fucking weird artwork as well. Um, that will get put into the set, like I said, a million times. I don't think we've ever seen Um But yeah, visuals, that was the collection so far. And we already have two secret rares, no alternative arts. But as soon as I get a couple more pennies in the bank from work, I might have to put a couple of extra hours, I will be buying another um, booster box, potentially, hopefully, fingers crossed. There we go, visuals. That was Pokemon Evolving Skies, the collection so far. That was weird, it's like a ghost did it. Uh, let me know how you're getting on. Let me know your luck with the set, or... Or how you've got on terms of rarity. If you've got a, uh, an alternative art, I do know somebody that used to work with me or still does work with me. They took their son into um, Geek Retreat in Dumfries. They got a random one packet and got the Sylveon alternative art secret rare. So that's fucking amazing luck. Congratulations to you. Um, but visuals, how are you getting on? Visuals, thanks for watching. Remember to keep being you and just be like a Dralidin. And just keep on keeping on because that's all he does. Yeah.